My name's Rick and I'm sailing Frog's Leap. You know, the beginning of the cruising season is typically marked by November 1st. Certainly here on the Pacific side when the Baja Ha Ha leaves San Diego. We got three weeks before this, uh, this cruising season kicks off and, and you know, I wanna be ready. Well, I'm gearing up for the 2024 Pacific cruising season here in La Cruz de Guanacaste, Mexico. Want to change out this toilet seat. Got this bag that I think could be useful on board. Maybe put in another hook, hang it on the bulkhead. And I want to get rid of the old windlass handle pockets. Well, before I could get started, Valentine from PV Sailing came by the boat and measured Frog's Leap for her new Lazy Jacks. That's right. PV Sailing is making me a stack pack. And I haven't talked about this on the channel yet. You know, I'm so appreciative to the guys over there at PV Sailing, Mike and his staff. Yeah, it's just exciting time. I'm really looking forward to this season. Gosh, just looking forward to it so much. So after Valentin got done with his measurements, Jose came by the boat and scrubbed the bottom for me, and he also swapped out the zinc. Here's the old zinc. Show it to you. The, the reason why I want to show it to you is because it's in pretty darn good shape when you consider that I put that thing on in San Diego and uh, one year ago, basically. So pretty good for one year, I think. Of course... I never plug in uh, to shore power. I just use the solar panel. And it's not a lot of solar. It's a 200 watt panel, but I mean, most I ever get out of it is like maybe 120 watts, most I've ever seen. I think that's like test conditions, ideal test conditions. That's what I think. So let's get started on these projects. So I found this bag in Home Depot. It's uh, branded as a Klein Tools bag, but it's such a cool, uh, cool kind of denim -y material and it's crushable and soft and it's really good for for the boat other than the fact right if you've watched my channel for very long you know I'm not a huge fan of metal bits so I'll take this off and then uh, find a place for it on the boat I don't know what I'm gonna store in here yet I've have an idea I have an idea but I'm not 100% sure first I need to cut this little metal bit off because you know I'm not a fan I got waked. Somebody came in the harbor right as I was doing that. So ended up being a little more messy than I would have liked. Easy. And there's more than enough room to get some 550 through there. I keep all my pre-made 550 soft shackles in here. And uh so we'll just grab one of these out. Some of these I've used, it looks like. I'm gonna see if I got a fresh one. Oh yeah, look at that. So now I'm just gonna take apart this soft shackle right here. So some of you have seen me do this before, but basically it's a probably an 18 inch piece of 550 with a overhand knot at the end. You know, you just slide it in here now, and I can always help it through with the fid. There it is. So now I have my clasp because I can just go put the lark's head in it and then just dip this through like this and tighten it down just like it was before so yeah this is the reason why one of the re big reasons why I just don't have a lot of patience for the metal bits on the boat I'd rather have everything be cloth right just bag it all up boom 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 I have another one of these hooks same hooks that I used up here I think that was back in season one and what I could do, put, put one right here, give myself maybe some utility out of that little piece of bulkhead right there. Came with a couple screws. 
so this thing came with um, these screws and they're just going to be too long so checked out my screw collection these two little guys will work just fine i think I didn't bother drilling pilot holes here. The truth is these screws are so small that, I mean, it's not hard to just drive them in by hand. So now we can undo this lark's head. here that's kind of nice i like that all right well i've decided what i'm going to keep in this bag right here i like the location too so and and it's you know you think oh he's going to have something special in here he put a lot of effort into getting this bag and preparing it and and hanging it in frog's leap you know the thing about it is is uh everything has to have its place on a boat and if it doesn't it's gear adrift and potentially a missile hazard <laughs> what i've decided to keep in this bag is you know sometimes when you're underway you know if you're not reading or, or actively sailing or shooting youtube video or editing youtube video stuff like that hey who is it hey, it's mike had to take a little break. Uh, Mike over at PV Sailing came by. He wanted to pick up my main. He's taken all the measurements and I'm, I mean, I'm just so happy that um, Frog Sleep's getting the attention that she's getting. It's funny, you know, because on my way down, I figured I was just gonna push south. And in fact, I ended up having to backtrack, you know, to come back to La Cruz. And I was debating, do I keep pushing south? Could I do the, all this stuff? and in Manzanillo or Acapulco and but I already knew some of the people and personalities that were here and I was like you know what this is where I should be and it's so great you know when a plan comes together and, and when you're right because if you're wrong on any of this stuff this international stuff big decisions like where do you spend the summer and what kind of things do you need to get done if you're wrong you could be living with it for a while so <laughs> I'm so happy and uh, Mike you're the man dude really appreciate it man so this bag, right? I just put this up here. So what's in the bag? What's in the bag? <laughs> like I got this little Rubik's cube, right? Y'all remember the Rubik's cube? I, I mean, this came out when I was in like elementary school, I think in the early eighties. But this is a simple one. This one has only the four. When it, the original came out, it was much more complicated and I was unable to solve it. I was one of those guys who would pull the stickers off here because I'd get so frustrated I'd be like okay well I'm gonna remove all the stickers and start over again so I'm really looking forward to playing around with this and it's kind of brainless and it'll kill some time when you're just wanting to give your brain a break you know when you're sailing I mean it's all encompassing you know whatever the boat needs the boat gets you are the boat's consciousness sometimes it, you know long periods of time I find that it will wear on me and I need to have some kind of a release a mental release right so something like this is cool so i'm passionate about telling stories and so i went ahead and got a couple of packs of rory story cubes i like creative games not so much games where there have to be losers get a whole bunch of laughs just watching somebody be creative i hope you guys laugh when i do Frog's Leap, it's me being creative. And uh, so that's what I like about Rory's Story Cubes. I'm gonna take this up to game night, one of these nights. So yeah, I keep Rory's Story Cubes and the uh, Rubik's Cube, the easy one, in my little bag right here. So it's cool, like if I'm chilling out right here, it's easily accessible, I can grab it, I can throw it back, get back to what I'm doing. So I really like the location. I really like the fact that it, there's no metal. Could be some clanking, I guess, but. I like it. It's good. I want to hear in the comments from you what your favorite games are that you play 
underway or when you have guests over. Particularly, of course, I'm interested in the solo stuff, if you can play stuff solo. I'm not huge into cards and solitaire. I don't know why that doesn't thrill me. You know, but people are into different stuff. But hit me in the comments. Tell me what your favorite games are. I'll check them out.